Hi. So you're interested in receiving energy healing, but you're not certain which service is right for you or even how this distant energy thing works. Well, I made this video to kind of go through um, the offerings as well as um, what to expect. Um, I have some uh, lovely clients who allowed me to do some quick filming of our sessions so that it would be illuminating for those of you who are trying to figure out how to navigate the energy healing offerings. So I offer um, Reiki energy healing and Reiki energy healing is um, universal life force energy um, and it does not know the boundaries of time and space. So essentially um, I can connect with your energy field. Um, the energy from Reiki is always healing. It's always good. It is always of a very high vibrational um, and positive um, force. And so we can connect. I will use a surrogate, um, either my massage table, typically my massage table. <clears throat> Sometimes I will just lay out a um, large pillow um, and I will lay my hands over that and um, tap into your energy field. And it's something that we do um, virtually. So you can be assured that I'm not, you know, like flipping through Netflix while I say that I'm giving you an energy healing. Um, it's, it's very, um, you know, you can open your eyes and look and see me hovering there. And you, you'll, you'll feel it. You'll feel it. Um, but that is one of the one of the offerings of the distance um, Reiki sessions, and it's a full healing um, that goes through all of the chakras, all of the basic hand positions that you would receive in person. Um, but you can receive from the comfort of your own home, wherever you might be, and it's up to you. You can lay down. You can um, receive um, seated. You have a lot of flexibility and freedom there. Um, another option is just receiving a Reiki blessing, and that's something that happens also in the same way. This energy will, um, I will connect with your energy field, um, and usually just bringing my hands um, toward one particular area of your, um, your physical um, body. Um, virtually and it's 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 short it's about 10 15 minutes of concentrated healing energy um, moving into you and I'm not in control of it it's Reiki and so I'm merely the the conduit it moves through me and this is the most intelligent energy it knows exactly where it needs to go and so if you have a, an injury in your foot it's okay if my hands are not like I'm hovering over your foot the, the energy, the healing will go in your body wherever it needs to go. And so you never have to worry about getting too much or too little or not going to the right place um, because it's not something that is guided and governed by the practitioner. In fact, we need to take ourselves out of it so that this energy flows directly into you. Um, and I also do Egyptian alchemical um, healing. And um, that is a modality very, very similar to Reiki. Very, very similar. Um, the only difference is that it's more of a, um, it's, it's, it's very interactive. <laughs> um, and so with the Egyptian alchemical healing, um, Riyad Sakem, I am talking to you the whole time and maybe I am like physically just kind of moving the energy around let's say um, I perceive that there's like some pain in the shoulders or in the back and there's like a lot of movement that happens there's also um, you like tapping into the Akasha the Akashic records um, that happens regularly and so um, Oftentimes, like past life experiences might pop up or just these um, downloads um, of information that I, I share with you as, as I pick up on these um, things, whatever they might be. And so it's, it's, it's definitely like part intuitive reading, part um, almost like this etheric massage in many ways. Um, physically like doing a lot of drain work um drawing away of negative energies it it's so individual of course based on the person and what they need but um 
it is Reiki with a lot of extras, if you will, although it's not Reiki, <laughs> but just to give you a framework to, to, to leap from. And so, uh, again, the Riyadzakem, the Egyptian alchemical healing, um, that happens on a massage table and um, you're laying on your bed or your sofa and I am uh, working over my massage table and energetically have invited you to come into that space and um, it's very sensational. You, you do, you feel the movement as it happens. And so um, in a few moments, I will have little snippets. So the first snippet is from an actual um, Riyadh Sikkim energy healing um, that I did um, recently. And when we work together, you'll always get, with the Riyadh Sikkim, you'll always get the, the video. Um, to look at later because what tends to happen is that there are um, in, it, Like I said part intuitive reading um, part past life regression um, things come up and so You're laying down and not really able to record it and write out write out any messages that might come and so you'll get the recording on zoom um, so you can just Browse through at your own pace when when it need when you need to um, the Reiki, I don't record the actual Reiki session, but again, as, as an intuitive healer, I do pick up on a lot of things and, um, I've never had a session where something hasn't popped into, like popped up that I would like to share. So I always offer, I'm like, would you like for me to share? Would you like for me to allow a recording? And, um, then, then I share what I pick up on and we can talk about it. And you can take that as well, um, the last 15 minutes where we're talking, um, more or less, so that you can um, replay and, you know, remember whatever it might be that, um, you know, came up during the session that um, there is for you to work on. So let me know if you have any further questions. If these videos um, are not um, crystal clear, you can always email me or respond to any mailings that I send out and I am so happy to respond. But I hope to see you etherically, energetically very soon um, on some sort of a table or lovely couch or bed or laying on your floor um, because energy healing is just a beautiful, beautiful practice and it's such a nice way to return to ourselves after this year that is not over <laughs> it's, it's still happening it's been a year and a half now we're still going so yes treat yourselves treat yourselves my gut like everything is being contained in the gut area the core is where you are holding controlling trying to keep things together there's a tightening, a contracting of the core. It is pretty constant. Jure, are you feeling any tightness in your core at all? Right now? Resonating. Hmm? Right now? Just in general. Uh, yes, yes, it feels firm and uh, I'm focusing a lot on the gut. Um, well, truly, I, I walk by the mirror and I lift up my stomach and I'm constantly fixated on what it looks like um, and what it's holding. And um, yes. Yeah, I feel that there's a lot. It, it's not only holding you up physically. It's not only like, it's like the core is like your heart right now. It's what's holding and fusing you together as a person. But it, there's also something in there that just wants to break free. Are you feeling very restless and kind of like agitated? Like you want to be doing more? Like does the act of just like being still irritate you? Um, yeah, definitely. It's been floating into my mind lately. Um, all I have is at-home yoga and I've been noticing like my lack of like practice um and it was, you know for the past year it's just definitely declined and so I'm just thinking about that more and also wishing that I could like 
do another workout, right? I keep thinking about, um, it's funny you say running, even though I'm not a runner, I keep thinking that I wish I was a runner so that I could be happy in a different way. Um, I keep thinking like, I really wish that like gyms were kind of open or if I should be like a personal trainer, um, just to like physically move in a different way than, than yoga. But right now all I have is yoga because I'm, you know, at home. I'm hearing that you need to run. I'm also hearing that you need to take Lady, your dog, and run with her. Run with her. Let her guide you, and you'll be fine. Your spirit animal right now is the black stallion, and you need to embrace that. And and, and, and I'm hearing that the black stallion has come up in many ways before. If you really focus in and think about like the energy of the horse, the feeling of the horse's mane, the rhythmic galloping, there are different ways that the black stallion has been like threading into your life to try to call to you, but you need to take off and run. And I'm seeing this image of like somebody kind of, you know, how they hit the, the, the backside of the horse and it just like, it like takes out of the, the gates. They're saying run, 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 just go, run. You can run around the neighborhood, but you're, you have a lot of fire inside of you that needs to be expended. And so it's like your right side, this masculine energy is like overtaking. It's, it, it's um, creating an imbalance. It's like overtaking the, the left side, the feminine energy. And you're actively trying to be really cool and grounded. Um, but the, there's no, and, and, and you have been really grounded and um, reflective, which is wonderful, but there is no outlet for all of the things that are coming up. You've been reflective and moving through thoughts. You've been changing, changing your relationship with yourself, with others, but there's no outlet for all of the things that are coming up. There's like, you're getting like constant revelations and you need to physically express. And now I'm seeing like a dragon, like you have to let that heat go. They're saying, go, go somewhere in the woods, stand and just scream. There's so so much in all of you that needs to be expressed and you don't really have an outlet for it. And so you're being contained and contained and contained. And what's happening is you're using your core, your gut to contain, to squeeze, to contain and squeeze, but you're not allowing yourself to be fully free within your body. And that is actually inhibiting the, the freedom that you're seeking and run. They're saying, take that energy and run with it. Use that heat that warm energy and run with it. Embrace the energy of your stallion, your inner black stallion. Okay, I'm going to just kind of come up here. I'm gonna start just kind of working through you, feeling your crown. I'm just gonna make my way down your body, just kind of tuning in, see what's there. A lot of analyzing. And this can be very interactive. You can talk right back to me. So I, I'm sensing a lot of just ruminating, for lack of a better word. Mm. Are you are you having a hard time sleeping at night? Uh, some, yeah, uh, staying asleep. Yeah, waking up with thoughts. Yeah, of course. Uh, yes, thoughts and dreams and trying to figure. Like I said, like really just like trying to figure out my next step but also going back and being like just have some faith and so just going you know the pendulum is swinging between um let it go and what's meant for you won't miss you or like take control and just like do something um because we've just been here for a while i want to change the environment for sure double say hey key double say hey key double say hey key i'm just putting in some sacred symbols here Again, again, again. I'm going to take the crystalline energy of amethyst. I'm just like sprinkling amethyst dust over your forehead, over your third eye. I'm taking the energy of lavender essential oil in the form of a salve, and I'm just rubbing it over your forehead. I'm taking it, and I'm bringing it behind the back of, like, the base of your head. There's a lot of tension there, I'm feeling. Are you getting tension in your jaws? Um, you, it's so funny you say that. 
I noticed that when I had my mask on, how much I lock into my jaw. And, yeah, and that's like I, feeling. I can open, like, open up my mouth and, and just making sure that I'm not, you know, like there's no one to talk to, nothing to do. And so it's just like a, a closed mouth right now. Yeah. And I'm taking a little bit of camper and I'm going to rub that right here, kind of behind your ears and it's going to move it's I'm going to move my way in toward the jaws just kind of working some of that free with the inner the oil of the camper should help to release some of that I'm also going to take eucalyptus sprigs and I'm placing them on either side of your jaw to help soften and release essential oil of peppermint more relaxed ease yep um i picked up on some things during our session and i'm just wondering if you're open to hearing them if you'd like to hear them or or not it's, it's absolutely your choice thank you yes i am open to hearing them awesome okay now how do you book a session well so there's three different ways that you can um book with me you can send me an email just filling out the the contact form um, at the bottom of my site just scroll all the way down or you can click beneath each offering you'll see a payment tab and that will kind of trigger an email to me or you can go to my booking page and find an open slot that works well for you book it and voila be well I hope to see you soon